welcome to my channel if you are new here hello you are spiritually connected with katiba that's for sure okay look this soulless being has been desperately pretending to be spiritual there is a soulless being and i tell you if they have a soul they are the most low level soul that there could be if there is a soul if there's any soul left if they have one if they have any care in the world they are the lowest level soul that there can be and they have been pretending to be spiritual T to the outside world this person looks like an angel this person looks like they're a good person like they look like they're tapped in they seem to be but truth is they're not the truth is they have been pretending the truth is that they have been following after they have been mimicking and mocking those around them those who they want to be like they have been mimicking those who they want to be like and it's giving they are spiritual but they are not these people are not spiritual. These people are not tuned in. They are not tapped in with their higher selves. They are like, they're aware, but their level of awareness, they don't care. They're really on some like demonic stuff. They, they really are. Their soul is very tainted if they have one. This soulless being has been desperately pretending to be spiritual because of how they see you come off and how they see others around them come off. They want to be like you and they want to be like others. They want it to be perceived as that, but those who really know them know that that's not the case. Those who have really gotten the opportunity to get close with them know that that isn't the case. But they're really good at fooling people because they're really good at acting. Like they're really good at pretending to be someone that they aren't. They're really believable. These people, they, they take a narrative and they can become whoever it is that they want to be. These are the same people who can lie their ass off and believe every single lie that they tell themselves and others. They believe the lies that they tell themselves and others so much to the point where it becomes true in their mind. They don't know anything else but it. They know that they're lying, but they have molded themselves into believing in their own lies. These people has been pretending to be spiritual. They have been pretending to be holy. They have been pretending to be a good person. But behind closed doors, they're, pe they're treating people like shit. Like they're treating the ones close to them terrible, terrible. Meanwhile, while they're out in the streets, they're getting praise and they're getting validation, which they so desperately need. They're getting praise and they're getting validation about how much of a good person that they are or how warm spirited that they are. But it's all a facade. It's all a big, big lie so much that they have. They have moved so much in this way that they believe that they are this person as well. But there's ones that's close to them in their lives that will tell you otherwise. They know the real them. The real them don't come out very often. It don't come out with every single person that they encounter. They want this as a, they want to take this as an opportunity for people to like them and people to admire them because who they really are they're not likable. They're not admirable. They aren't. They're, they aren't a good person. Like they have a really tainted spirit. They're really evil. They're really evil deep down inside. The type of things that they do be on some like evil stuff. It be on some like you couldn't have a heart. Like you couldn't really care. Like you couldn't have any empathy, any sympathy. Like you couldn't. They couldn't. They can pretend all day, but they really don't. This person has been desperately pretending to be spiritual to the point where they one of them ones, no offense to people who just like look super spiritual because I, I, I like y'all swag, okay? <laughs> I like y'all swag, but they have been trying to be like that. Like they've been going out of their way to buy crystals or to dress a certain type of way to 
to to wear um different type of colors like anything that they see the spiritual women do anything they see spiritual men do the ones that's really tapped in though they try to be like them they try to be like them they have literally went around people they have literally befriended people they literally have befriended you just to steal your personality just to try to become who you are they have been pretending to be spiritual and they are not they don't know the first thing about being spiritual that's why they like to go places that's why they like to read books about it and once again no offense to anybody who goes to places goes to retreats or read any books because you want to enhance your spirituality this is different what i'm talking about what they're doing is they're trying to learn from the bottom up because they aren't tapped in they aren't tapped in with source they don't know where to start so they have been trying to learn from you from others from books from youtube videos from uh retreats and sister circles like they have been going to these type of things with hopes that they can become spiritual but it's nothing that you become it's something that you are that's the thing they think that they can go and learn this stuff like this stuff ain't taught this stuff is already deeply embedded within you it's either you got it or you don't and this person has been desperately trying to get it knowing that they don't got it knowing that they don't got it so they've been leeching on to people who got it they have been leeching on to people who are spiritually tapped in they have been leeching on to people who are really conscious that's what they have been doing that's the game that they have been playing because they see how much attention that these people naturally get they see how much attention that you naturally get a lot of it is unwanted you don't even want the attention but they desperately need the attention so they want to be like you so they said well maybe if i become spiritual as well maybe if i dress like this as well maybe if i come off this way to the outside world then maybe i will get the attention that these spiritual people are getting they want to be like you they want to be spiritual not knowing that this ain't no type of game this ain't no type of thing that you could just tap in and out of when you want to like this is beyond a lifestyle it's who you are you are spiritually tapped in and they want to be spiritually tapped in as well desperately they want to be spiritually tapped in so bad so bad that they're focused on it that they're that they have to go out and they have to try to learn it it's things that you don't have to try to learn it just comes to you naturally they're the opposite they want to be spiritual they want to be tapped in they want to connect ah I, I ain't gonna even say that part because i don't think that they want to connect with their higher self they like who they are they don't see nothing wrong with the person who they are but they want to be be perceived as being tapped in because they want people to like them because they need people to like them they need people to admire them and they see the type of results that people who are spiritually in tuned who people who are spiritually tapped in people who do have a a direct connection with the divine source they see that these people want to be spiritual so bad and a lot of times they're just doing it to get close to you they're just doing it to get close to others so they're pretending to be something that they're not so that they can be likable just so that they can get into your space just so that they can be up in your face just so that you can like them too they're pretending to have the same type of interest that you have and that others have who are spiritual who are spiritually tapped in who are enlightened just so that they can be around you just so they can have your energy just so they can leech off of your energy they want to steal your energy I understand your energy is very radiant and it's very magnetic but that ain't what you want <laughs> that ain't what you want but 
what you got is exactly what they want. And they recognize that money can't buy it. They recognize that they ain't got it on their own. So they're going to do whatever it takes to try to get that, to try to be that. And they hopes that if they can trick the whole world into believing or trick a whole group of people into believing that they are this radiant being, that that's enough for them. But behind closed doors, they're a totally different person. A lot of these people are monsters behind closed doors. They are. Just look at the way that they move. Look at it. These people are liars and manipulators. And they're very mean. The things that come out of their mouth, nah. It's like you can't be, you can't be human. You can't be human acting like that. You can't be, you must not care. They're very nonchalant behind closed doors, but on social media, but around their uh, group of friends who don't really know who they are. They're this holy being, like they're very likable. But secretly, they're treating someone or they're, they're, they're treating people like crap. You got this soulless being. They ain't yours, okay? <laughs> but it's this soulless being who's out here pretending to be spiritual. Because they want what comes with that. Not knowing that in order to get what comes with that, you got to be who that is. And if you just naturally ain't got it, if you just like, these people are very, they're, they're, they're living in their karma, okay? They haven't been a good person for lord knows how long like if ever like they're living in these karmic cycles but like i said it seems as if they enjoy who they are although they don't really like who they are they enjoy they get a kick out of pretending they get a kick out of like acting like that they're something that they are not they get a kick out of that because they're able to fool so many people. People just still don't get it. Like people, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of stuff I don't know. Like, cause I'm not them, but observing from the outside in, these people has to be soulless, okay? They have to, they just have to. They're soulless being who's out here pretending to be spiritual they're in the desperate energy behind it pretending to be spiritual just so that they can connect with certain people for their own benefits for their own benefits and it may take you a while to recognize that this is what this person is doing that this person ain't this person ain't nothing good like they want to pretend like they an empath they want to pretend like they uh sensitive like it's none of that they're very good at pretending they're very good at what they do and that's fooling outsiders except for you <laughs> okay and pretending that they are spiritual they not they not spiritual they not spiritually tuned in they not spiritually tapped in they don't they don't get no messages like they not they not radiant they not vibrant they not they not who they pretending to be they really not so if this video resonate if it hit different let me know how so if you are new here i do invite you to hit that subscribe button if you don't got time already what you waiting on get your free 100 dollars, okay <laughs> get your free 100 dollars. click the link down in my description box to learn more and if you're not a member on this channel i do invite you to become a member because we lit over on the membership side so that is all i got for this video stay spiritually you stay spiritually in tune i'll see you on the next one peace